You should I really, have. I really should have, because I don't think I'll ever see him again. That was a good story, Lucas. I totally didn't just waste three minutes of my life. Anyway, uh, <laughs> asexual <Fuck>. reproduction. <laughs> Hey everyone. What's up, guys? Welcome to Why Are You Still Here? And you know, I don't, <laughs> I don't I, we're doing it see, again, guys. I'm conflicted, okay? Because <laughs> I want to say the show where we talk about whatever we want, but then again, I wanted to start a whole new thing that I think is better where I say, Lucas, why are we still here? But I don't know how to do that with special features, unfortunately. Why are we still here? Well, we got to show off more more shit. Yeah, today is uh, special features. 17, aka 17, special baby. features, Goldeneye. Goldeneye, I know his weakness. <laughs> yeah, figure that one out. <laughs> anyway, <clears throat> special features, Goldeneye. We are <clears throat> back. Unfortunately for you ever. guys, we're, Yes. And we're doing special features. And of course, of course, if you are unaware of what special features is, if you're unaware of what special features is, it's the episode where we talk about possibly upcoming videos. It's the episode where we talk about maybe a movie that we saw that we're not going to do like a specific video on. It'd be like, hey, Lucas, I saw Barbie. I didn't but I plan to next weekend. That kind Same of thing. Season. You know, Lucas saw Oppenheimer. So Brandon, I saw Oppenheimer. I, I put a short oh, did out about you? it. Oh, no. <laughs> I, I have to watch that short. Yeah, no, I did. Anyway, uh, so that kind of thing, you know. Famous and... plug, watch the short if you want to know what I thought. Yes, yes, indeed. Go watch that short. Um, or maybe it's like, you know, it, once upon a time, this used to include us going into like behind the scenes stuff. Like, you know, I'd be like, oh, I made this thumbnail. Let me tell you the, how crazy that process was. <laughs> you know, that kind of thing. That Willy Wonka thumbnail, I tell you. Um, <laughs> but the one thing that's never changed with that is Lucas's favorite part of special features. And that is the show and tell portion. We show what we have acquired over the last month since the last one right yeah the last in this one... case was <clears throat> dose weeks ago however it's the end of the month we had to make up for some lost time it's and time it for that monthly month, visit yes. from mother nature ladies because special features is back <laughs> <laughs> i don't get it <laughs> it's for our female audience Oh, okay. So that's what special features is. The monthly visit from Mother Nature for uh, the ladies. No, I get it. But what does that have to do with us? We do it once a month. Special features. Oh, okay. <laughs> it's it's our viewers' that's monthly period doing. of agony. Yes. Yes, indeed. <laughs> yes. Yes, we're indeed. also a little more unhinged in special features. It's like uh, the unscripted, off the wall. I mean, everything's unscripted, but it's like the, you know. It's like yeah. a, you just hang out with us versus a production, so to speak. Yeah, it's uh, it's definitely much more. Um, you can see all the shenanigans and tomfoolery that we get up to. Correct. It ends up being super long. Oh, yeah. Usually. This one's not going to be too crazy. I really don't know. No, too much. no. Or it's I chill have four one. items. I guess Lucas has four items. But um, let me ask you guys something out there. Do you know how you're watching a YouTube channel and, you know, it doesn't happen often, thank God, but you're watching a YouTube channel and they keep on reviewing, reviewing, <laughs> they, they keep reviewing, oh my God, they keep referring to their viewers as fans? Yes. I can't stand that. But what do you guys think about that? I don't mind it at all. I understand because we had this conversation. You said like celebrities have fans. Like I celebrities have fans. YouTubers don't have fans. Let's be honest. Unless you're like Mr. Beast, 
who let's be honest is a celebrity oh it's all it's all yeah it's all it's all flooding back to me when i told you that I guess I can oh, back that I could that I could me. kind of agree because I would never purchase YouTube merch because I think that's stupid, except for the Linus Tech Tips LTTstore.com hoodie that I want to get because I just love the design on it and the color, sure. which we'll insert and a photo you of. Are a viewer of his. That's not you're not a fan of his. That doesn't make any sense to me. So for anybody okay. else who is slightly new to the channel, as Brandon hurts my brain even more, Brandon gets very heavy into the into the game of semantics. That's his thing. If you use the wrong word, he will make sure that you know you use the wrong word. Exactly. He Just is like when very you're there specific. and you have two wires and you're like, I, I need to solder these together. Well, That's a callback. You, if you if you go to if you go to Britain and you're watching your British videos, you're soldering. So technically, I'm correct, and I'm not going to listen to anything else you have to say about how. There's rude no you way are that British me. people say that. It right, must well, be I'll... the accent where they go <laughs> soldering. I say say soldering, so it sounds <laughs> like there might be an L in there. There's no L. Okay, the L is silent in every language that we have. Okay. Anyway. My name is Ukis and don't forget it. <laughs> exactly. Tune in exactly. for special features. So this all started with Hack the Movies, which <laughs> we're I big fans it. of. Yeah, it's <laughs> <laughs> it's not the best, but it also some episodes are, are decent. You know, I'll, I'll give them a little bit of a of a shout out. Like I, I, I do enjoy some of the things I watch from them. Okay, whatever. <laughs> but Tony constantly calls the viewers fans, and I hate it. It gets under my skin so badly. Well, it's very endearing to the fans. They are not Jerk. your fans. All right. They're well, I not guess <laughs> your fans. I guess like, when our channel blows up and this video resurfaces and we have all these fans buying our merch. I will never call the people watching fans. You you're <clears throat> maybe you're fans of our of our content or you're fans of what we do. You're not fans of us. Like I there's not a single YouTuber I watch that I am a fan of. Okay, if like, we're gonna if we're gonna really so play disrespectful. Into it, if if anybody from Waish actually like hung out with me outside of what you go, we produce huh? for the channel, I love meeting fans. Would you like a Would you like an autograph? No, what I'm saying is they would be like, Lucas is a fucking boring idiot. All he does is sit around on YouTube all day and occasionally plays a game and watches a movie. He goes to the movie theater a lot alone. What a fucking he is weird. <laughs> and they're just they're not fans of me. Or you. They're going to be like, God, this guy is so fucking anal and up his own ass. Exactly. <laughs> I can't hang out with him. He's too particular. He keeps correcting me on everything and calling me a stupid <laughs> bitch and a stupid lady. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. <sighs> you're exactly. not fans of us. <laughs> you're fans Maybe of you're us. fans of this like fake version that we put out to the public. Which, we're not totally disingenuous, but... Not at all. Not even a little bit. Go watch our last two videos. <laughs> if anything, we could probably gain some more viewership by being <laughs> disingenuous. This is true. Let's go against the grain. Scream, Scream 6 is the best one of the series, guys. It's so good. I love it. I loved all the, you know I loved I love all the representation. The the representation. There was LGBTQIA+. Yep. There was age representation with the ghost face killers okay there's sex yeah <laughs> there's sex positivity it's the most diverse yep. oh, cast oh yeah it's it's great yeah. it's good shit even so annika's good. stunt double is like 40 pounds heavier than her i mean yep. no holds and barred guys they hired her only only to show that they're not they're you know not fat chests fat shamers yeah i was gonna <laughs> say that but there's gotta be they're not yeah, it's called fascist. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Whatever. They're they're not against people that are overweight. They're they're like, yeah, let's do it. 
<laughs> it'll get to the point where it'll be like a ghost face running around and then when he goes to get hit in the face it's going to be like a like a 500 pound ghost face that falls down and all of a sudden <laughs> then it's back to a skinny one i would actually be right. okay with that because i would be dying laughing <laughs> oh my god that's great um, um so yeah it's the, it's the best in the series anyway i'm i'm ready to show off some pickups now brandon okay are you ready no scream six the best in the series yeah so it's so good i've and of course this is the one i own on steelbook the best <clears> one <throat> so indeed let me let, let me just let me just paint a picture for you of every special feature since it's fucking induction inception inception induction into the hall of fame hall of shame yes it's yes. inception of the induction into the hall of <clears throat> anyway yes Yes? Hold on. I got a notification from the bank. Is it a fraud alert? I hope so. Nope. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> anyway, so after all of these special features and how much I say, I don't give a shit about the slipcover because guess what? Mine's up there. Ding. Um, Because I'm like, oh, it's it's the same discs. Who cares? It's like five to ten bucks ah. more for the steel book. And at this point, I'm just, I'm just biting the bullet now and I'm just going to do it. I think it's usually ten dollars more now but back in the day pre c o v i d uh it used to be five dollars more that was it it was no more than five dollars more and that was fantastic so i got mine from amazon and it arrived in very 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 good condition there are no dents or scratches on it i thought that there was a small one right there but mm-hmm. if you if you wrap around it's from the art of the seal book i thought that uh where is it let me if i can see i thought this was a puncture but it's just a part of the train door like i examined the shit oh out yeah it. yeah and i was very like i looked at all of those and made sure that none of them were you know yeah i compared it to the actual art like i was shocked thank you amazon and i can't believe i'm saying that um, the spine is always the trickiest part. Yep, but it is a it is a really nice steel book though. I do like it a lot. It looks very good, and the back is the best part. That's awesome. Okay, the back is good. I agree with you. Um, yep. wait, open that bad boy again. Here, let me take the discs out. We'll look at. Oh, it's just the city, but hey, it's Montreal. Um. Where is that picture from? It looks like it's hold on. Let me, oh, it's I just like can't... it's just it looks like it's just art. It doesn't even look like it's a photo. But no. the robe looks like a photo. It's weird. I don't know. I don't know. It's weird. Yeah, Scream but, Six is here, here's bad. here's the Blu-ray, everybody, because that's what you want. I am glad though that mostly every single 4K comes with a Blu-ray, at least future proofing yeah. it for people. It's like when uh, Blu-rays were a thing and DVDs would come with it in that spot. A lot of my early, yep, almost every one of my early Blu-rays has a DVD included. Like all the, yeah. I think all like all the Disney ones and it was convenient ones. because I had a portable DVD player and mm-hmm. a portable Blu-ray player was not a thing at the time. In fact, I still don't know if that's even a thing. I was going to say I don't know if that you. ever caught on. Um. But portable DVD players were super popular. Oh yeah! But I, uh, I would be able to, you know, there were, use the there DVD were even, in those instances. Um, portable VHS players that were like this fucking huge with a flip yes. up screen, and it would go in between like the passenger and driver yes. like things. I never had one, but my, um, like these kids that my aunt used to babysit. Yeah. Uh, they had like this big ass Yukon, and they had one of them. We'd watch like VHS tapes in there, and then when dvds became like popular they got a portable dvd player and i remember watching chamber secrets like all the time on a portable dvd player yeah for sure you know what i used to do pre dvd player i had this little tv which now it's not so little but it was a tube tv right it was Mm -hmm. like this this tall this wide and it was, you know, I think it was like my TV in my room for a little while. 
I had and... a very tiny one with a built-in VHS player. It was like barely bigger than like what the VHS slot is. It was super small. Yeah. I played my PS2 yeah, it, and N64 it like on it that. all the time. So I had the VHS player built into it and the screen was probably like this big. And most importantly, it came with a cord that plugged into it that had like a cigarette. The cigarette outlet. God, it was that low powered of a TV that it could use a cigarette fucking voltage. It was it was like a normal like tube TV. Again, I used it in my room. Right. So, you know, this was like my primary TV for a little while. You know, that's so awesome. You just hold your TV in your lap in the car and watch a movie. I didn't hold it in my lap because it was too heavy. But what <laughs> I would do is I would have it next to me. And so I would turn and I would just watch it. That is that, so that's, fucking ridiculous. That's, that's how kids school. in the 2000s watched. Yeah, we had portable VHS and DVD players, video now. And then I remember when I got my PSP, yeah. like UMD just changed the game. Yeah, it certainly changed the game. Anyway, <laughs> um, <laughs> I'm the only person that has fucking UMD movies. I swear to God. Uh, you and Second and Charles has a couple of them for sale. Speaking of <laughs> Second and Charles, what if I told you I was at Second and Charles yesterday and and, and I looked at their their PS2 collection? Okay, and I'm they intrigued. had a, a Scarface: The World Is Yours there. What would you say the price on that was? 50 bucks. Yes. What happened? Yes. Yeah, I'm not surprised. What happened? The Xbox version is even more. And I have the PS2 version. Well, the Xbox, at least the Xbox version, you can play in 720p or whatever. What's the PS2's excuse? uh, You can play it in widescreen mode. I mean, the fr- other than the that, the frame though, rate is so bad. The PS2 version blows, and it's worth a lot. I'm just gonna fucking sell it and get the Xbox version. Screw it. You know don't what? You have the Xbox version? No, I don't. Mm 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 You know what? It's coming. It's going right off the shelf, and going right here with um these like 100 DVDs that I'm uh gonna be selling because Wait. I finally. I finally went through the garbage bag in my three boxes of DVDs over there. And I have like, and you found three that you want to keep. Yeah. I have a huge pile right here, as you can see on the coffee table. Yeah. Of stuff that we're going to have to be uh, getting rid of. It's time guys. Anything that has a Blu-ray release, it's getting sold where, where we have to upgrade, except there's some childhood stuff that I kept. <clears throat> like stuff that I remember like getting for like birthdays or Christmas that I, I wanted to keep. But anyway, if you bought that digitally, you can't do that motherfucker. Now, can you? Nope. Yeah. So it was 50 bucks and I was sad and I probably cried because I had that game and, you probably and sold, I it, for sold like it for probably $2. <laughs> Because, and I had a whole conversation with Anthony where I was like, I guess what I just saw, I'm very sad about this. I want to die now. And Mm -hmm. I was, he was like, oh, I still have mine. And I was like, you future proofing bastard. I was going to sell mine while the iron is hot and get the Xbox one. Cause I mean, that is a good game. I I just, for some reason I thought you had the Xbox one, but you would, you would assume because I get everything on Xbox. It is a good game, but um, yeah. So I went through a period of time where every time a new system came out, I sold all of my old stuff. That's just what we did back in the day. And I wish I held on to this stuff. I, it was a, it's a shock a shock to me not only was that my mentality but there was something else obviously that Your ps3 I, that happened well no but something another thing happened in my life that would make me sell things as well and so it is such a miracle that i was going through my drawer you know that one day and i found the, the oh, gamecube yep, resident yep, yep. evil 3 nemesis i mean Thank God I didn't know that that was there. <laughs> because, I mean... GameCube Resident Evil, you might as well fucking lock that shit up in Al Capone's safe like it's gold. 
I mean, yeah, yeah. Then Al Capone anything, safe would have one thing in it. Anything. GameCube. Um, yeah, I know it. It that was insane, absolutely insane. And I just love the GameCube so much. The bubble will burst on it, and they'll go back down. They're not going to stay. Paper Mario, a thousand year door is not going to be one hundred thirty bucks forever. I mean, NES prices be. have gone down. Super Nintendo I prices have gone down. N sixty four prices have gone down. It's just GameCube is in its peak right now because people I've in the seen early some bad bad prices for N sixty four items recently. Oh yes, I mean they've somewhat gone down, but <sighs> so much so. Like I think back, okay. If you're as old as we are, you know that your N64 games, the only thing that mattered about that was the cartridge, right? You took oh, that, fuck that stupid cardboard box and you tossed it aside because it meant nothing to you, right? It meant nothing to you. Well, now... It was literally the equivalent of like saving a fucking Mr. Coffee box with the instruction manual. You fucking worse. threw it in the trash. Worse. You know why worse? Why? Because the Mr. Coffee box cardboard is thicker. <laughs> True. It was it was the equivalent of I don't even have anything that's so cheap to even show as an example. Like even a VHS, a J, a J card, <laughs> maybe a little bit thicker than a J yes. card. No, I would say that that's probably about right. They they became damaged as you were opening it, like taking the plastic. Oh off, yeah, when you do damaged. this. <laughs> that and it just almost like creases up in the middle immediately like for game boy advance games you know how many all oh, right yeah game how boy color open that up and game boy advance game because the box is like this big so and then when they yeah. switched the, to the ds yeah. like the really sturdy basically like like half a gamecube style case i was like over the moon yeah <sighs> anyway um so <laughs> I I knew nobody. Dude, All some my of these friends, boxes cousins. and manuals are worth more than the fucking cartridge itself. Oh yeah, in some cases, well, because it's the cartridges abs- don't don't break. There's plenty of the cartridges around. There's but million. Guess what? There is nothing around of the, box, the boxes, the manual, the insert, the I remember the wrapping I used to that have, goes over the actual cartridge. I kept the boxes for some reason because I'm a, like a hoarder. I didn't. Yeah, yeah I yeah. wasn't. I didn't treat them well. But I, we had our computer and like in the cupboard where you keep the actual computer itself, you know, yeah. above that, there was like a little shelf. And I just had a bunch of the N64 boxes just shoved in there. Mm-hmm. And I know that when we moved, those just all went in the trash, you know, that didn't mean anything. If I kept those, I could send myself away to college for free. <laughs> It's insane. And now they have like the, you know, like a steel book protector, you know, they make those yeah, for the size, N64 like, boxes. Yeah, no. and, yeah it's insane. It's, it's insane. Just, again, guys, I know this is, you know, going on 30 years in the past here, but do not fucking buy your games digitally. Do not get your movies digitally. I have decluttered. I have so many movies that are literally junk, but I will still get something out of them. In fact, with all this decluttering, it does kind of feel good to like get rid of some of this. Honestly, I do have a lot. It's my wall, my wall of virginity, as I call it. And like, dude, even my NES, I don't even think I need that thing anymore. I have not played my NES in like five years. And honestly, it's so finicky to get it working properly. I think I'm just going to sell it to somebody who actually wants to fucking play with the thing. Uh, do I really need to play Mario Brothers but, again for the hundredth time? But if you the... do, you can play it on the Switch. That's what I mean. There's so many other avenues of playing yeah. these classic games that I just don't care anymore. Like my Super Nintendo, my that I can't get rid of. Like my N64, that means a lot to me. My NES. See, I would say Super Nintendo is obsolete as well because you can play that. You There's other avenues for that as well. Even if you don't want to go the Switch route, you can find most of the, at least the Mario games in physical form on some other system that's more up to date. But, you know, that's on you. Well, Whatever. the reason why I like you to do keep you. it for the Super N64, I just can't get rid of. That's like my childhood N64. It ain't going anywhere. Same with my GameCube and like whatever. In my Xbox, blah, 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 blah. Um, where the fuck was I going with this? Why did the train just leave the station? I don't know. 
the hell was I talking about? Selling my NES. Oh, so know. for my Super Nintendo and my N64, I've showed it off before in special features. I have um, my EverDrive in there, so I don't have to load up all my cartridges, and I just keep them all tucked away, and I love playing on original hardware. I don't mind emulation, but if I can play it on the original hardware, match made in heaven. It's great. Yeah. Depending. Yeah. Um bye bye. If NES. we're if we're talking about a good system like GameCube, then yes. Not that N64 was not a good system. It's just not something that looks very good anymore these days, unfortunately. That's so, why I started many times. This <clears throat> this TV is for basically the Super Nintendo and the older shit. Yeah, but... I, I get that <clears throat> more now. Um but like GameCube, Xbox, PS2, I have actually migrated to the HD TV for that because of my uh, upscaler that I have. So mm -hmm. basically, the I, I was holding out for a while on that. Like, remember, even on the old special features when I'm like, yeah, I still play my Wii on the CRT. You're like, you're a fucking idiot. I don't do mm -hmm. that anymore. <laughs> yeah. Remember the whole episode where I was like, you should play these things in widescreen because that's an option on the Wii and it looks fantastic. And you were like, it stretches it. And then I I, I showed still you proof only... that it in fact does not stretch it. Well, it's native. It's still widescreen, but you still have those little pillars on the side, but it's not as much as like a four by three, like pillar box. It's more like, um, if you, you call were it like, a pillar box, it's gonna look this like one's an oval, like, uh, and I showed you a picture. It's still a perfect circle when it shows the buttons, and you you finally admitted that you were wrong about it, and it was a glorious day. If you flip the game over, or if in the menu option there is a widescreen mode or progressive mode, then I'll play it in in widescreen. But like for something like Monkey Ball. That's like a launch GameCube game that doesn't have that, but supports progressive. I'll still do progressive 480p, but still in four by three. On my dongle, my dongle, everybody, you love my dongle. I can automatically switch between which resolution and aspect ratio that I want. You make my head hurt. Anyway, uh, what people I should just do dial in the is, specifics. I uh, always hold on to your licensed games no matter what system it is because those they never get the um the license the remake, to re-release those yeah, they, it's stuck as it is before you know it catwoman and cat in the hat are going to be worth quite a bit of money what do you think about that i don't care because i don't ever they're, want them they're not i will catwoman i told <sighs> you before i play i had that game on the gamecube back in the day it's trash it is really bad I also had Cat in the Hat on PS2 back in the day. And I had Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. I, yeah. I mean, any Sears Unfortunate Events, all the Harry Potter games, well, those are good. Um, any movie, yeah. the Shrek games, I played those. Anything that had a fucking mo movie, I played the game. It was early 2000s, people. Some of those that you mentioned are definitely higher up in value and will continue to go higher up in value. Like Charlie and the Chocolate Factory, a series of unfortunate events. Um, there's probably others as well. Always just hold on to the license games, no matter what, unless it's ET. Don't want that. You want actually, if you want some ET, just go to the Nevada desert, right? Yes, and just start digging, and you'll find. And a you whole can watch bunch the um, the AVGN movie all about ET. The movie fucking sucks. That's good. Big shock. Anyway, Brandon, we are. Super Has anybody off topic. ever found the hole? There's like a video. I know or people like, are looking for it. There's a. I'll, I'll put up um either a video or a picture right here for you. But yeah, I mean, there's dug up cartridges. Ooh, look at that. That's so cool. <laughs> All right. So, so your turn. nothing sucks more than Scream Six. Let's be honest. And I would never buy it. I would never <laughs> buy it. It's stupid. Especially the steel book. Why would yeah, you waste wouldn't. money on that? Oh my <laughs> God. Yeah. So here it is. 
it arrived Saturday, I think. Finally. Okay. Ooh, behind the scenes. Go space in a circle. Oh yeah. Oh, look at oh. that. <laughs> Got a whole thing going on here. Um yeah so i didn't see the back of it because it's still wrapped up but you know the knife and the apple which let's be honest here that looks like a buck 119 in fact it is a buck 119 that's the wrong knife should be a buck 120 anyway it's longer and sexier that's the difference but um yeah, so over an hour of terrifying behind-the-scenes content. It is certainly terrifying because it's very woke. Um, and bigger, bloodier, and scarier. Um, how about... Uh, I'm trying to think of something clever. Uh, smaller, less bloody, and not scary at all. I don't know. That's what Brandon <laughs> sure. says from Waish News. Mm-mm. yeah so i got this and if you are a big fan of the channel then maybe you know that i talked about how amazon screwed up my order and it got delayed in the warehouse and it was this whole thing and they were like oh my god it's gonna take longer to get to you and i could have just canceled that order and just put a new one into my cart and got it in a day and they're like please let us make it right for you we'll get it to you in five days please and so I was like angry and I was like I will only accept this to come to me if I get a discount on it when it arrives and they said absolutely and I said okay sounds good I can wait and uh, I'm not gonna I'm not going to watch it anyway, so what does it matter? Um, Just have to make sure no damage occurred behind the computer there. So it's like, yeah, it doesn't matter. So it arrives, and you know how much they discounted me? Five bucks. 50%. Oh, that's good. I got it half off. (laughs) I would have got it late for half off. So, yeah, again, I'm not going to watch it. So it doesn't really matter. I was fine just waiting. And uh and yeah, so I got it half off. So yeah, uh, I rewatched I it. That's good. I don't think I've ever said this before, but you know what? That's one for you, Amazon. Well, yeah, I was saying the same thing. It's perfect. Crazy. So yeah, yeah that's true. Yeah. So Did you say you rewatched it. Did you cry the whole time? It's it's I, bad. I, I, I like it like even less than I did before. I really don't like Scream I, 6. See, here's the thing. With a lot of movies, if I went to the theater and I'm like, oh, I don't like that or that wasn't great. Traditionally, you give it a little bit of time, you rewatch it, and you're like, maybe I was a little bit too harsh on it. Every single time I have watched this thing, I have liked it less. The third and act that's is, really saying is, something. Is, is a fucking disaster. The masks piss me off even more than it ever I has. Yep. <laughs> I just, I still like the opening. Sure. Scream 2's opening is still better. Um, of course. Yep. One, and it, I, I, you know what? Even, even three's opening is, is better now at this point. Of that was course. just because I was excited. Um, uh, five's opening is still even better. Um, it's better of than course. the opening to four because I love four, but I can't fucking stand that opening. That opening is terrible. Yep. Uh, four Wes. So <laughs> any, yeah. anyway, um, so I don't want to keep uh, stabbing a dead horse here, but <laughs> you can see all of our thoughts on Scream 6 and more throughout, you know, trickling through all of our videos. Um, so we just can't wrap our minds around how I bad know. it is. So basically, as I just ruin everything here, this is how I feel every time I think about Scream 6. So anyway, <clears throat> so this is yes. how I feel. I just laugh at its stupidity. So, oh, it's too... So anyway, guys, I had gone to... Smiley! My favorite... Yep. I thought it was called Spoof Mask, but is Spoof Mask like the regular looking one? 
No, it's they just renamed it for this most recent run. Okay, so yeah, so basically this is from this year. It's the first batch of Fun World stuff that I've seen in person, and I'm like, oh god, I I wanted to hold off till this episode, but I had to tell Brandon just yeah. in case he wanted to go looking for something. But yeah, of course, me being me, I spent 15 minutes in the store picking out two of the best ones, and actually they're both like they're both actually perfect as far as i'm concerned um very good very very good do you have a, a card on yours or no is that a classic no this one? is an old one okay so and it does have the vanilla scent by the way and uh do you want to see what i paid for these bad boys As uh, you're looking at 7.99 no uh 14.99 they're close I thought they were going to be like twenty bucks, just based they off the store prices. Them, you, but they were twelve ninety nine. If you see them for twenty bucks, don't just don't. But I had to get two because eventually, when they're done selling these, you guys know they're going to be worth something in fifteen twenty years from now. They sell them every year. Um, they haven't ever stopped selling these since Scary Movie came out. However, you don't usually see them anywhere. Like even yeah, I never see them. Walmart or whatever doesn't even carry them. So, um, plus yep. you don't have these, so it would make no. Sense I do not get them anyway. So I needed one for the collection, and then one, you know, obviously just for to lick. Are they glow in the dark? <laughs> it doesn't. I'm gonna say no because it doesn't say so anywhere. White. Traditionally, they have that sort of off whiteness to them yeah this is like glow a in the stark dark. white and guess what all it you is. need to do is fucking do this with your regular ghost face and fun world nobody would complain what is wrong with you stupid pieces of shit why they won't put that shroud on them yeah on the fucking 25th, like the 25th? Yeah. like it's I'm, yeah. I'm not i'm done with that but anyway i don't guys. even think i'll be honest with you i don't even think that this year they have just a regular shroud one coming out they have a bunch of stuff coming out but i don't think that they have that they don't i don't i didn't hear anything about it i didn't either if you happen to see those fluorescent ghost faces show up though that have that actual like vinyl to it yeah, like, yeah, yeah. like what you were just holding instead of the i will painted, snag a million of them yeah definitely let me know because I want those really badly. Yeah, um, I'm scared for this season. I'm really terrified. Ugh. How much money you're going to spend or that we're not going to get anything? Both. Yeah. Because they're both real possibilities. They so are real fucking, possibilities. My car should be fixed by the end of the week, but uh, I, I just need that car fixed so I can go hunting for masks. That's all that matters. Yeah, but don't forget the other side of it as well, though. The thrift stores. For I know. Vintage. I have to go to the, those three that are up and down right where I live that are very close to... Uh, actually, there's so many thrift stores that are right there within the two screamers. I, I'm yep. good. I just have to wake up early in the morning and I'll just do a yep. fucking clean sweep. Yep. At least probably, like, what, three times a week, I would say? Yeah. Yeah. Probably I mean, minimum. every day they get in stuff. This is going to be a very busy season for me. Yes, it is. Oh boy. Anyway, Sundays Brandon. they're never open though. I don't know why. Okay, that's fine then. Very strange. So um what is your Thrift next story? They're very religious. I saw another spirit Halloween, by the way. Very good. You know what? Rather than showing that, I'm gonna show this. You'll like this. So I've been looking for this. I got it at Second and Charles. They had Ooh. three of them. And so I got um, the best looking one, I guess, of the three. And um, I was like, ooh, yes, I've been looking for that. It was, um, I'll just show it. So this is ooh, Batman. the official movie tie-in. This is the the prequel to the Flash movie that verges the gap between justice league and the flash all right well i have and, to get this now <laughs> as you can see up in the corner it says official movie tie-in 
Um, they never do this, by the way. I knew that they did it for this movie, and that was I'm all. I have to knew, go to the and... bookstore and and get this. Indeed, that's Called sick. The Flash, fastest man alive. So I'll have to I get knew... one to read because I and knew then you'd one be to put on the shelf. It. If you go to Second and Charles, it's buy one get one half off. So you cool. could actually expand your horizons and go and to get a new one place. of these, and then one of something else. Oh, okay, very good. Um. I mean, can you read you go, that without the spine looking fucked up? Yeah. Okay. Because if you go to Barnes and Noble, um, then this is going to be, you know, probably like thirty bucks, much more expensive. I mean, it's marked fourteen ninety nine. They can't go higher than that. But anyway, so it's the official movie tie-in. Only time I've ever known that they really have done this for a movie. That's so Obviously, cool. Obviously, it's you know Ezra Miller. It's Bat Black. So it's like I I have to get this. It's it's DCU, right? Yep. So it's like I need this, and um, I think that was four issues. Like they did like a four issue run, and so that's what this is uh, encapsulating those four issues. Three, uh, fastest that's man alive, so cool. number one through three. Yeah, it is pretty cool. Um, ooh, so ooh. I'm getting this. Once I have, once I'm responsible with my money and I adult for the next couple of weeks, I, Indeed. Uh, I'm getting this. See, because that's something I can't order online because it's going to get to the house all fucked up. Yes, you are correct. And I haven't <laughs> seen it anywhere. And when I saw it, I was like, is that what I think it is? And I was like, yes, it is. <laughs> God, um, I need more money and so I can fucking pre-order my steel book. Thank God nobody likes the flash because the steel book is still in stock. And that's one I want to get. Oh my God. Naked Ezra Miller. There we go. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's awesome. I read like the first part of it and the flash arrives like on the scene where crimes are being committed. And he goes, does Batman know you're doing crimes in another city or something like that? <laughs> Very Does he know good. you're doing crimes in somebody else's city? Very, very good. Batman shows up, obviously. And, uh, like, Batman was the one responsible for Barry getting the new suit rather than the suit that's, like, pieced together. He says, like, the actual, mm -hmm. you know, a fit this suit. Like, he's the one responsible for that. And then this graphic novel tackles that. You know, because they don't really mention it in the movie, you know. Very, very good. Yeah. Well, technically, like I told you, I, like. I had four, but two of them were duplicates because it was the masks. I have I, only, I have one more thing to show, Brandon. Mm -mm 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 -mm. I have one more mask to show you. Mm -mm. I've, been wanting, I've been wanting to get this one for a while only because of how ridiculous it is. Not only is it stupid, of a design um only like a, a super tiny portion of the proceeds went to support the cause but i had to get it because i can tell you i feel i just feel it i just feel it in my guts and it is from last year i checked the tag oh i got God. my i got my ukrainian ghost face mask mm -mm. so next i can go with my patriot and my pride <laughs> mask God. <laughs> I just how goofy, how fucking what does this have to do? I hate with, it. Yeah. With Ghostface. Nothing. And, and it should be a hundred percent of the proceeds. Why is it only part? God, so, I hate that. So I just feel like again in like a screaming ghost face collector scene that in again 15, 20 years down the line, this is just such an anomaly. It's so fucking weird. Like, what if they had um uh, uh, a fucking Iraqi <laughs> Jason mask from like 2002, like when the war was going on. I don't know, like something weird like that. I, <laughs> I can't even compare it to anything. <laughs> so I had to get it. I had oh, to get him. God. Well, you know, the important thing is that that I'm happy collecting this schlock. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. All right. Nice. Just weird That's things make nice. me happy. <laughs> sure. I think it's so 
not that you not you buying it, but I think the whole thing is just so disrespectful and it's in disingenuous, such bad taste. disrespectful. I know that's that's why I had to get one. Yeah, it's awful. And and then the pride profit, one is right below that. The pride one makes more sense though. Oh, because you told me of the in the insane um yeah uh, uh, um a lot of gay people like yeah. scream. That's why we love scream so much. Yeah. <laughs> so I have two more items. Uh, I have this little ditty here. Had to get it for go next to the first one that I had, and it's not a bad movie. It's a decent movie, you know. Um. Yeah, it's decent, and that's Jaws too. Oh, you got your steel book. Very good. Yes, ma'am. And it can go right next to the first one. The first one like massively sold out really quickly when that came out last year. Mm -hmm. This one, I don't know. I don't know how it's going to do. I got it in store though. So maybe it'll be fine. Very, very by the way, to update everybody that maybe saw our last special features, I finally opened up the plastic on the National Lampoon's Vacation movie. And? and it is only the J card that is damaged. The movie itself is not. Thankfully. Very good. I know. That was scary. All right. I have one last thing. And it's very much so in line with The Flash, The Fastest Man Alive, except not that cool. And I thought, you know, maybe... Yeah. I hate that I'm even saying this because James Gunn's such a piece of shit, but I'm like, maybe I will check out some of the stories that he mentioned when he did his announcement, you know, where he was like, but not, not too crazy though. Like he, one was creature commandos. And I actually saw creature commandos yesterday at second and Charles, there was uh, like an omnibus creature commandos and, I almost bought it because I oh, I went through it. I flipped through it and it was that really old school vintage art style. Mm -hmm. Like it was from like the fifties and sixties. And I was like, I love that. Like for people that don't know, I love vintage comic books and what they, you know, the art and all of that to them. There's something so cool about that. So I almost got it, but then I was like, you know what? I'm doing research for an uh, animated TV show that's going to be coming out. So no, no, <laughs> no, no, no. But I planned on reading Supergirl Woman of Tomorrow. You know, that was something that he said his Supergirl was going to be based on. And it's, apparently it's a great story. Um, and uh, I, I wasn't going to I wasn't going to uh, check out that other one the authority like everybody went up and scooped up as many of these as they could possibly could like amazon sold out after he did his announcement about all this stuff but i don't give a shit about the authority let's be honest so no interest in that but where i'm going with this is his batman he said is going to be based off of the damian wayne you know robin where batman finds out he has a son that he had with talia and he makes his son Robin, and it's a whole thing, whatever. And the story that originally tackled that is this. Batman and very, Son. Very, very good. And I was like, you know what? I will. I'm not giving James Gunn the benefit of the doubt, but I want to know how badly he screws it up when it finally does come out. At least I'll know now. You yeah. Know? Yeah. So it uh, is a graphic novel. Obviously, it encapsulates that story um, from Grant Morrison. You know, he said it was Grant Morrison's Batman that he was going to be doing. And so I was like, yeah. And this is something I've been meaning to get anyway, because it is one of those like notable storylines. You know, mm -hmm. Damian Wayne is Robin. I've never read a single. Um, a single story that i can remember that had damian wayne as robin in it so i don't know we'll see we'll see i'm a sellout what can i say i try to give people 
tiny bit benefit of the doubt. Not often. I don't. I never just get a, this from him. This just is a tiny a, bit. This is new treatment. I'm unaware of. <laughs> <laughs> I hate James Gunn so much, but it's like if we have to deal with these movies coming out, I may as well, you know, do a little bit of research and find out how accurate or inaccurate, ac- accurate they how are. Accurate you know what I'm be. saying? But I don't plan on doing it with everything. I plan on reading this, Batman and Son, and then I plan on reading Supergirl Woman of Tomorrow, and that's all I'm going to read. Everything else can go screw itself, as far as I'm concerned. I have no interest in Creature Commandos or The Authority or anything of that magnitude. Um, Wonder Woman, um, whatever that one was. Yeah, I can't even remember. Wonder Woman. It wasn't even Wonder Woman. It was... uh, paradise lost which was a prequel to wonder woman ever existing so it was oh okay i (laughs) i don't care enough but i am obviously a comic book reader not a huge one but um i like to i like to dip my toe in every once in a while very good just put just put just put just Maybe my tongue from time to time. And then jump in penis first. That is what they say in the industry. It is. They and say, that's why they say break a leg and not good luck. Well, that was all I had to show off, Brandon. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I was going to pull a Lucas... For those that might not know, Lucas is is very well versed in coming up with fake stories for things and then telling <laughs> me they're fake after I go, oh really? Um he loves doing that. I do it, I, I do almost... it at work all the time. And I say it with such Indeed. conviction that it, it just sounds like it's I think it's true. Mm-hmm. I was it's a talent of mine going to uh say, like, <laughs> oh, you know where a break a leg came from? that saying yeah yeah yeah. it it came from um the very first recorded stage play (laughs) ever which was obviously a shakespearean play (laughs) right yeah it was Uh, filmed on uh an eight millimeter yeah of course they definitely had film at that time and uh and that very first recorded play ever, somebody broke their leg. So it was looked at as good luck from that point forward. And then you're, you'd be like, what? Really? And I'd be like, no. <laughs> Is that really? Yeah, William Shakespeare's play? Yeah. Yeah. Did you know? <laughs> this is actually, this is real. Uh, I don't believe you, but. <laughs> that there is, look into this. It would have been in our conspiracy theories episode if um if I had remembered it, that it is very strongly believed that the man William Shakespeare did not write any of that stuff. Yeah, I've heard this before. Yeah. That it was another guy completely, and there's like legitimate there's like of evidence. evidence of it. Like a lot. Yeah, I haven't gone down the rabbit hole, but I've heard about it. Because the actual William Shakespeare himself is like everything he's ever like actually written that they know for a fact he wrote has been trash like absolute trash and it's in a completely different style there's nothing there's no nuance to it it's just really bad you know one-dimensional writing but there was another guy that existed at that time who was a writer who his writing, like if you look at his works today, I can't think of the guy's name. It matches to what you know as Shakespeare identically. And it's not just that. There's like a ton of stuff behind that. And that Shakespeare was basically just an idiot, you know, <clears throat> that he was be- he was like, like deaf and dumb and blind probably too. Damn yeah look into it i it's been a while since i heard about it so i am not the best at reciting exactly what it is but Mm -hmm. the main takeaway from it is that very possibly william shakespeare the guy that you've seen pictures of wrote none of that that stuff that you know none of those plays 
Sorry, everybody. Your life is a fucking lie. Yeah. You are admiring the wrong person. Just like bad fans. Bad. Bad. Just like Christopher Columbus. Hey, he directed some good movies. Let's not talk shit about him. <laughs> <laughs> That's the only notable Chris Columbus out there. <laughs> so you know what? I'll I'll go with that. Yes, indeed. Yeah. So um yeah, look out for um the Flash video coming out soon. Um I was looking Yeah, he out was out there. It. Um and yeah, look forward to I don't I don't fucking know. We have the Flash episode coming eventually, which is the streaming edition. Um which it that doesn't make sense to you. It's just the fact that everybody is now seeing the movie because it's on streaming. So and we're very bitter when the about it. Hot. That's what I say. Strike when uh, the Jeremy Iron is hot. That's true. Anyway, <laughs> um, there is a, a video coming out that Lucas is trying to bury, which is the episode that we can't, talks we about can't how have funny all this information Lucas is. out there. We can't let the people know how much of a of a bumbling buffoon I actually am. Indeed. Indeed. It's all about Lucas being the youngest, oldest man. You know what I'm saying? He's young, but he acts like he's literally the oldest man that's ever lived. And we facts. had a whole episode about it, and he's trying to bury it. So don't let that happen. Um, yeah, the, fa- the fans want to see it. <laughs> Yeah, I'm the, just gonna keep the using fans, that word now. The fans definitely want to see it for sure. <laughs> the singular fan that we have. The fan wants to see it, indeed. <laughs> and uh, that's all that's like really recorded at the moment. I think. Yeah. Obviously, when the months go on a little bit further, we have well, the it's Michael almost Myers Halloween mask time soon, so we have a lot in the. It's our Christmas time is coming up, so indeed. it's good that we got this out of the way because it's end of July, going into August, and I start. I start watching my scary movies in August. I start preparing the decorations that I want to do for the year. You know, you got to start early because if you start in October, you have no fucking time. And then add waste to the mix. That's true. It's it's. I know. It's going to be a busy October because last year we had Halloween and that's it. And this one, we, now have, we have Friday Exorcist. the 13th and The Exorcist. And uh, Brandon is going to watch Exorcist two three and four part version one and two for yes the first time i, mean, I, I will watch them all i still have i'll rewatch the first one as well it's been a few years um, yeah i don't think i need to rewatch the first one to tell you the truth but i, I will anyway i've never seen the second one or the third one the You're second not missing one out with the second one i'll tell you I that know. right now i was just about to right say fucking that. Now. I, I know i'm not it is the absolute out on worst anything. it's the oh oh boy yeah but the third one, I guess I'm missing out on something special. So it's pretty good. Brad Dourif. Yeah. That's all you need to know. The something killer. Indeed. That's what they say. Um and uh yeah, I saw the Exorcist. Uh what's the fourth one called? The one that went to theaters. Uh the beginning. Yeah. So I saw the beginning back in the day, but I've never seen the Dominion. So yeah, I've seen the beginning. I haven't seen Dominion, so that'll be fun. Oh, really? Even you haven't seen Dominion? That shocks me. Because yeah, apparently I saw Dominion's it. the good one of the two. Really? Because yeah. I saw um because the one that came out in theaters, I um had a fucking pirated bootleg of it back in the day. Okay. So that's how I saw it. That's terrible. I know I don't remember jack shit about it. I rented it from Family Video and it was not great. Basically from what I understand, it's kind of like a Zack Snyder's Justice League sort of situation where they went um in Dominion there's only one actor that's the same which is uh, Stellan oh, wow. Skarsgård as Father Marin. Um yeah. So they filmed an entire movie that was Dominion and the studio didn't like it. 
and said, no, you go back and you film something entirely different with our studio notes. And I think they even got a new director. I'm and pretty sure they did. Cast and new writers. So then they went and they filmed The Exorcist the beginning. It's literally two movies they shot back to back. Two entire movies. So they're really nothing alike other than having Stellan One, Skarsgård yeah. in it. It's pretty crazy. And according to people that have seen both of them, they say that Dominion is the better one. The beginning was like a studio, you know, shit show, really. It was like just completely, it was everything a studio would want to make money, you know? Yes. And I don't really remember too much from it. I remember there when they were filming it, there was a lot of weird like paranormal things that happened. I know that. Um, there was either some people that died or they almost died because everything kept on going wrong and weird. And I know that uh, the woman that played Natalia in Goldeneye is in it. That's all you need to know. Yeah. And it all comes back to Goldeneye, which is... Did I just do a secret agent move? And then I got the little thing. Like in the game. Bye, everybody. <laughs> what? <laughs> what secret agent move? Whenever you you get like a certain, like you'll, you'll do a certain move or like get a certain amount of points oh. in like agent under fire, I think. And then it'll play like the little. I get it. It's like a 007 move. Yeah. I think that's And then you have called. like X amount of ones you like that you can do yeah. per level to get like it's like the you could jump status. out the window or you could go yeah. down the rope or something. Or you could simply escape on foot, or you can escape on a snowmobile, like stuff like that. Yes. And it's like, yeah, then it'll play the usually it goes dan 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 usually it does that maybe that's what it is it's been a few months it's the same song i know it's the same song i don't know <laughs> i i did a different part of the song damn it yeah i know it depends <clears throat> on the game as well but it's dun 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 or the dun 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 it is whatever that's all the steam i have is done brandon i'm hungry i gotta get my pizza out of the oven I bye everybody know. Lucas only eats pizza. Did you know that? Out of the oven. Only way to do it. And it's it's, and it's generally cooking from the entirety of the video. So depending yeah. on how long the video is, I have either re yeah, yeah, really yeah. burned pizza or it's just like completely charred and like it's ashed. It's fallen through the racks. Yeah. Like you pick it up and embers. it just turns into powder. <laughs> like, in, like in a cartoon. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. I hope you enjoyed it, everybody. This is our banter. <laughs> this is all we got for you. We'll see you next Indeed. week. We have everybody some more fun stuff go coming your way. Purchase the Flash, the fastest man alive. Yes, and purchase it physically so that way the movie, so that way you can watch it to your heart's content and own it forever. Purchase both physically. Indeed. The graphic novel and the movie. Because then you can sell it if you don't want it down the line. And um you yep. can sell your books too. Yep. So long, idiots. Don't need Kindle up in here ruining everything. No, you don't. Um, no. Physical for life. Let's get physical, physical media. That hey, that's a good jingle. Like to bring physical media back. Yeah, and we're bringing sexy back. We're bringing physical. Let's media. We'll just get have all these like pop songs. Media want to get physical media <laughs> let's get a physical media physical media i want to get physical media there you go bye everybody <laughs> get physical media i want to buy physical